All right. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Is everything working? Sorry about the troubles with the chat. That's just what happens. Ah, uh, awesome. Cool, so, uh, hey, <laughs> what is up everybody? Um, it's been a long while, but I'm finally here. I have my printers behind me, in front of me. I have my setup here. I'm ready to do some CAD for you guys today and basically check in, see what's what's new. So the, everything seems to be working fine. Um, just need to uh, change that chat. Apparently, everything is a bit new here. So all these chats are new. And I'm guessing that the text is just way too small to be able to read if you're on mobile. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and update the chat on this one here as well. Ooh, an airbrush. Nice. So you're going to be painting some 3D prints, I suppose. Let me just make sure that I get this uh, this stuff out there. I'm just going to try to share the chats. Hey, JC. One second, one second. Awesome. Gonna get this out on Twitterverse that the sh that the stream is live. Yeah, so basically today uh, the plan is to do a bit of everything. I want to start showing this office that I have in in my new apartment. Uh, yes, I moved. I still live in Norway. I'm still Swedish, um, but I moved into Norway and I moved further west in Norway. Um, so I'm going to show you the studio and all that. I'm going to talk about where, why there hasn't been a lot of videos. And like mainly what I want to do today is to create 3D models for anyone that needs. So uh, with your suggestions, I'm going to do some CAD modeling. Maybe unbox that 3D printer as well. We'll, we'll see if we have time for that. But it's going to be a long stream. I want to do almost like 30 minutes or more if, if uh, we have the time for that per model. So you guys can tweet me whatever you need modeled. For example, we already have a Boba Fat helmet. We have some Volvo rims. So these are models that you want to give away for someone to, for Christmas, but maybe you haven't had time to 3D model it, or maybe you haven't had like time to learn how to do it. So if there's anything that you need that you want to 3D print, make sure you tweet me that. And that's what we're going to do today. So hopefully you learn something while doing it. And yeah, hopefully you see how I do stuff and Hopefully we'll have a great time doing some cool 3D modeling. So how about that? Do you like that idea? So let me get this tweet to Twitterverse. How's that for an idea? I think I think it's like Christmas giving. Um, but then again, I love doing 3D modeling, so maybe it's not. It's it's a win-win. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See, streams looks to everything looks to be good. So um, yeah, why don't we? Um... I think um, imagination that that shape uh, on the Boba Fat helmet. I actually opened that model. So let's uh, let's check that out. I already have the model that you created. So this is imagination to form. He's already done all of this. So the plan is to add um, to this model, um, creating the cheek shapes. And I have a few ideas on how, how we can do that. So um, we'll, we'll do that later. I actually promised to, um, uh, to do another model first, um, which we'll get started with uh, very soon. Um, just want to make sure that I have this stream shared on the, all the different social media platforms and everything. Let's 
ici. Awesome. We want to have a grid there. We gotta have a grid. <laughs> okay, so uh, one of the first suggestions I got were to um, create some um, uh, uh, rims for a car. There's a person who's giving um, wheels to a buddy uh, or a friend of his for Christmas, um, and he wanted to print some miniatures for that. So we're going to start with that, basically. Um, let's see, can I have a timer? Hmm. Is it possible to do a timer in chat here somewhere? That doesn't seem to be that. Okay, so the... We have like these uh, rims here. It's for a uh, Volvo called R rims, basically. Uh, so he wants this in, in uh, 3D modeling or in a CAD file so he can print it and give away as a Christmas gift. So I think it's a perfect model to start with. It should be quite simple and uh, yeah, let's uh, just start with it. So basically when I'm doing something like this, um, I'm gonna, uh, let's see here. One second, I need to have the chat visible. I can't really see the chat. I want to be able to see the chat. Um, here we go. Here we go. Okay, super. Um, what I think about the cyber truck? Ooh. <laughs> I think it's incredibly ugly, and uh, I think it's a good marketing stunt. But uh, that, that's basically it. Um, Cool. All right. So um, we're going to start with 3D modeling of this rim, as I said. Uh, I'll, I'll get into the Cybertruck even more later. Maybe maybe we can do some 3D modeling of that today as well. Depends on how much time. It's, it's quite early here in my local time zone. So with some luck, I'll be, um, I'll be on for a while. All right. So the first thing uh, when it comes to something like this is, of course, to import uh, a file for that. So we're going to import a canvas. Like so. On that plane, for example, and we're just going to scale. Oh, it looks to be fairly nicely um, aligned already. So again, we don't have any clue uh, about scale for this model. So we're going to have to make it up as we go. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's a really old, ugly truck. Uh, it's like when you draw by hand, it's like this. And there's so many things that's, that doesn't work with it. Uh, for example, the windshield. Uh, I saw some video when, when you sit inside, uh, there's so much glass in such an angle that every light will reflect on the instrument panel and it's going to be impossible to drive like in the dark with the overhead lights. Um, yeah, how do you do when you want to load something that's bigger than the trunk? How do you... you can't really... Yeah, there's so much weird stuff with that. Uh, all right, I actually got some measurements for this. Um, we call it the... Um, uh, 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 let's see. Um, we have one known measurement on, on this one here, and it's the, the circle diameter. This one should be uh, 108 millimeters for the bolts. So we just type that in and we get a circle and then we can go back to this sketch here and edit that to, to kind of scale it so it matches. So it should be on center on all bolts. It's not a perfectly flat image, but it's, it's, it's going to help us a little bit. So do like that. Um, then of course we also know that the rims should be... It should be 15 inches, I think. So is it possible to just do 15 inch? That looks weird. Is it radius? Maybe it's radius. 
So 30 inches? Or is that the whole tire? Hmm, something is off air. I got this um I got this uh diameter here, so I'm not sure where everything is. <clears throat> uh they don't want it to full size, but why not draw it in full size and then just reduce it? Um some probably gonna do it free base anyways. <laughs> um because everything is not really right there. <laughs> yeah, it's a really big 3D printed car. <laughs> It's like that guy who's doing a 3D printed tank. <laughs> Should be full size. Uh, okay, cool. So, um, like, obviously, we're going to do this in two steps. Sorry, my phone is on. Should not be. Um, okay, let's see. One second. Um, The stream is a little bit laggy. Sorry about that. That's just how internet works here. Um, all right, all right. Clang. <laughs> cool. So um, I want to do this in two steps mainly. I want to do it in a loft or sweep. Yeah, loft. So uh, basically doing the whole tire in profile. And then we'll cut out the, the rims because, it's a, to be honest, it's a fairly simple uh, rim here. We have some chamfers to calculate for. And I think if we, if we just do that circle, we should... Uh, let's see, do we have any like reference images from the side? Let me find some images for that. Uh, Let's see, do we have anything here? Our design failure. Is, is this the one? Oops. Hmm, it looks kind of rounded here, but uh, I think this is probably what we can use as a reference. So we have like an indentation here. Something to uh, get down on. Are those the right rims? Yeah, they probably are. Okay, so um, my plan is actually to start from this way. So if we create a new sketch here, we know that we can start from uh, this distance. We go out to uh, 108 divided by 2. Then we can go all the way out. Like so. So the plan now is to do uh, like some sort of thickness. So let's go with uh, one millimeter, one centimeter for now. And stop. <laughs> so then we, we're, I'm kind of using this just to free base like the radius in. And then it's probably quite a long radius down here. So something like that. And I don't really know the thickness here of the tire. Um, so let's go with uh, this for now. So this is one of the shapes that we will will uh, will spin around. And for the other one, we can do uh, slightly down. We're going to go roughly there. Gonna have to add some radius on that curve, it should go up to roughly there. It's also going all the way around. So, you want those two to meet over there. It's gonna make sense, I promise. I promise. If this line, yeah, it's parallel. Super. So let's go ahead and do uh, some roundness on this one. Maybe 50. 
this one as well, a little bit smaller, like 10 or 20. And now let's just draw something on the inside here. I'm, I'm really not sure how like thick everything is supposed to be. Um, but let's go with something like that. Good. We should now have should have this volume here. Super. All right. So let's do just something to start off with. Doesn't have to be perfect. Something like that. So now, if we take this model, hopefully everyone is following along exactly what's happening. Uh, for all you uh, new followers here, or oops, that's the wrong one, wrong window. <laughs> is, is the sound level good for everyone, or how do you think about that? Video quality, um, I probably should have made the screen smaller so it's easier to see, uh, but it's a bit late for that, isn't it? Um, okay, so I'm going to revolve this one here around this circle if we hide the canvas that will give us the starting shape so we now have uh, one body that we can use later but we also want to revolve some sort of um, sketch here on this one so let's just go ahead and do some sort of rim. I'm really not sure how um, how this is supposed to look. Let's go with that for now. So we will uh, revolve this as well around this axis. Looks a little bit small, so <laughs> let's. Just make it a bit bigger. Can we do like so? Just drag it down. Such. Hmm. Ah, we had a we had a dot there. Like so. So let's redo that. Um, oh yeah, that's true. We can actually. Awesome, man. Uh, I get said this warning sometimes th that is lagging, but uh, if, if it's good for you, man, it's, it's good for me. So here we have some basic um, uh, rim shape as well to start off with. So yeah, I'm also doing a few like shortcuts because I'm giving myself... Um, slightly less time per model so to make sure that we get all the models done um hey german nerd thanks for stopping by um so yeah this this rim here the plan is to uh, to to do these kind of 3d models as fast as possible so that we um we can do as many as possible So we have created those two sketches. We have created two different models, but of course one of them is uh, wrong for now. So I want to get these radiuses slightly better. And actually, I should try to um, check out a model of the, the the tire. So I know the the width of it, but I think it should be a little bit uh, wider here. So let's just even one more time let's just drag this down a little bit so we get something that looks better there we go okay so third step is to create yet a new one a new sketch on the top lane here and we are going to um, do it something like see what we really want to do is to um, sketch from the circles let's go ahead with a spline just to do some free sketching no that's not gonna work 
So uh, the plan, the plan now, if if you, you're not following, is to follow this here. We're going to create a uh, basically this volume, and then we are going to indent that into our other model. So I want to start with the inner shape because I'm going to roll back this chamber. So um, we're going to start in the center on the green. You can't see that, but there's a green line here, which is the the uh, mirror line on y-axis. So we're going to start on that one uh, there. We're going to make a angle roughly there. Go all the way out. 125. It should be. I'm looking at the angle here. Uh, so let me do that again. So I'm clicking here to connect and just dragging out, trying to follow the line. And it appears that, yeah, it it could be 125. That looks good, but it could also be 124 actually. So let's go with 124. Yeah, that actually looks slightly better, which is weird because math. So let's go with 125. <laughs> So there we go. Um, and again, with Fusion, you have to do a little line here. So if I want to mirror this later on, and I can mirror on this line now. Hey, Patrick, don't worry about it. Speed run. Yeah, it's a video game speed run. So I'm giving each model 30 minutes, and then we'll up I'll upload it on the website, and I get the next one to model. Um, yeah, so let's do, of course, a radius. That's probably going to be my quote of the year. Um, I'm not sure I want to have it perfectly, but let's start with that and see where we end up. We're also going to make uh, just a circle of that so we can trim that later. Then I want to mirror that line in the center here. So we get this volume here and if, just to make it a little bit easier, we will trim the circle out there. Okay, so now we have this shape. We will um, make a circular pattern of all of this around the center points. I need to have uh, five of those. Yep. So I'm now going to cut through the first model. So let's hide the rim part. So if I would to just extrude these ones, and go through we end up with uh, with this shape here now we could just because i think it's actually true we could start to add some tapering so uh, we're adding tapering on these parts <laughs> it's always behaving <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, Swedes in the chat. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, this chain for her, uh, I think it looks good. And it it's probably be how the rim is made from the beginning as well, if we look at some, some Im images of it. So I think 10 degrees looks good. But let's try 15 degrees chamfer, uh, minus chamfer. We can always change it later. I mean, it's fusion. We, we can always change stuff. So we can now add the second model. Things are starting to uh, to look like something. <laughs> Poor sword. That's, that's a nickname, man. Um, yeah, so it, it looks, uh, looks pretty good. Um, I'm thinking now about before we do... I think this chain for hair is dangerous, so I'm actually going to delete it. So I'm just clicking delete when that's marked. And I think it's time we hide the grid. The grid is probably a bit annoying. So you see, we have two models, two or sorry, two bodies. And I think we are ready to, um, yeah, I think we are ready to fuse them. So let's go ahead and fuse them. Join. And now the question is if this chamfering will work, and it's not, it's not certain that it will. Sometimes it kind of freaks out. Okay, so again, let's look at a reference image. <laughs> Frustration 360, yeah. <laughs> it's always Patrick false. Uh, I mean, if anything happens, you know that. 
Uh, not the not really. Um, I didn't see that uh, what you're talking about the imagination. If there's any hashtag, uh, I guess we can approve it and see what happens. The chat is not that filled right now, so we'll we'll manage. Um, okay, let's get a reference image. Where did I put them? If like these rims were from the last century, we would probably have easier way of uh, doing these shapes here. Can we add? No, we don't want to add anything there. You might add something small later. Ah! <laughs> yes, that's all, all fine. It's called uh, the man with the question. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is the first model. We already have a few in a queue. So just make sure you tweet me whatever you want me to a 3D model, or I mean, you can even write it in chat. It's not that it's not that uh, dangerous right now. So looking at these rims, they kind of look weird wherever I look. Uh, it's a really small like chamfer here on that part. So I'm not sure uh, how we're going to do this. I will probably have to do like a small fillet here first. The question is, because I kind of want that to follow along. Okay, so let's back up a step, go into the sketch, and uh, I'm just gonna drag this diameter down. Uh, which is probably a good, a bad idea, <laughs> because I can't really remember what diameter I drew it in. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're not following along, what I'm doing now is that I backed up a bit. So I'm going to go ahead again. I was in this step where I had fused the two bodies. So I'm backing down to this sketch where I actually want to... To do this uh, diameter correctly, so I can either drag this off because I drew them in circular repetition and in mirror mode, so we can do all that, but I need to define a sketch on them. So what I can do is to click uh, sketch dimension or key short D, which if I drag this correctly, I will have a radius off. And if I now do can't really remember what uh, did I do two f yeah 250 it was pew pew <laughs> um, so but again we should do it slightly less so 240 235 okay I need to inspect this diameter it's 236 236. There we go. Now it's perfectly aligned there. Good, 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 good. Um, I probably need to back up anyways. So we're in here. Now I want to do a small, 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 small radius on these ones. Uh, radius should be like 5. Why doesn't that one work? Ah, okay, okay. I needed to do it on this one. Uh, five seems good. And I guess I have to do it on this one as well. Five, yeah. Whoa, man! Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you very much, man. That really helps. And uh, I'm gonna get you this reader model. So now, now you you basically added another thirty minutes if we need to. So we're gonna finish this model, so you can send it to your friend in the, as a, a Christmas gift. Thank you very much, man. Um, yeah, let's back up here to um, the repetition. Uh, it's sometimes that not that doesn't really follow, which I think is uh, quite frustrating. So we're going to redo that step. <laughs> pay to play. Yeah, it's <laughs> my streams are pay to win. <laughs> Man, that that that's. But you can still w win even if you don't pay. You don't have to pay. 
Uh, all right, there we go. Finish that step. Let's. Uh, this is probably going to be an error. Yep. We need to select them all again. Objects to cut. Yeah, making sure that's just one body. And there we go. And I think we want to. Yeah, before we do anything, we also need to fix this one here. This one is uh, way too thick. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure how to... Uh, hey man, Michael, I'll be on for uh, probably two or three more hours, depending on how well everything's going. <laughs> the DLC. <laughs> or something, or something, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. So uh, my problem right now with with this here is that I probably did it a little bit wrong. Um, we're going to redo this so that we have fused the files before. Um, so let's see. So this step. We are basically going to delete all the other ones. And I want to add those models now. Can I do that? Yes, very good. I have one model. We redo the extrusions of this ones. We do it with a minus 15 taper. I guess, I guess we'll start with that. Um, why are we getting issues here? Uh, but of course, but of course. Ooh, that's a long commute, man. Ooh, oh, hope to drive safe. Hope you don't have snow like we have. Um, okay, why I'm doing this completely completely wrong. I don't really know what I'm thinking about. So I'm going to remove body one. No. Yeah. Body two. We're basically going to <laughs> What is that? basically going to delete all of the insides so that we can get a cylinder then we are going to do our extrusion I think minus 20 oops, 20 sounds good we are going to do minus 15 on the taper there we go So that's the start. Still have some issues there. Maybe we should do less taper. I don't want to. I don't want this corner to kind of ruin it for us. So let's go ahead with a twelve instead. Good. And now what we can do is to basically create a new sketch down here in the center. Let's go out to this distance and if we hide all the models we should have one big circle to extrude we will extrude that one down and all the way through so now we have the basic rim and we can start to add things to this one Okay, so we, we've made progress. Why is that still marked? Okay, there we go. 
And just to make this, even though you're not gonna make it in full size, I do wanna like add a small chamfer on this one. It will would never be perfectly uh, maybe two. It would never be perfectly round in in real life, anyways. Uh, okay, we're we're doing progress. We're doing progress. This is the way we should look at it. Yes. <laughs> um, cool. So let's go back to the, um, the reference image. Just to see if it looks kind of similar. I think we're getting there. Maybe. It's hard to say what what do you guys think. Does it look uh, does it look good? It, it's something to start with. So let's go ahead and do another sketch for the holes here. Um, this will be several holes, and I think this one was supposed to be one o eight. Let's go ahead and do that, just because we can. And we want to create a, uh, a hole here. Hmm. Something like that. Let's go ahead and do a circular pattern on that one as well, around that center point. Five of them. And I think for this one, we're going to do it. Um, so of course we have the bolts, so this needs to extrude down a bit. And the question is like, how far do we go? I think we go down a little bit. Let's go down uh, 13. I'm guessing that one simple way of doing this is just do a chamfer on all of these. We should end up with with something. Hmm. <laughs> of course, man. Uh, attention to all the details. So uh, in this new like fillet tool, we can while we're doing that, we can add a fillet to uh, more surfaces to kind of do it in in uh, one smooth step. Something like that, maybe, and add a two. Three, one, <laughs> doesn't seem to work. Uh, so let's skip those. I'm just wondering if this, is this actually real? Or yeah, we might have to add on these ones. Hmm, hmm. Thank you, thank you. 108 millimeter, perfect, spot on. Um, yeah, but is this, will this actually work? Is this how they actually look? I can't really figure that out. We should do, I'm not sure we can do this radius more. Because it, yeah, it would collapse on itself. So we're going to redo it. We're going to back up step. This one here, we should not extrude that in the middle. Like so. And then we will... On this here, we'll go down 30 millimeters, and we will have to go 108 divided by 2. So we know the center of the hole here on the axis. I'm drawing like 2.5D, but that's just to show you what's what's happening. So I want to have that like so, and then I guess what we can do is kind of round these off. Or do we want to do it? We could do that. Uh, stay with me. I'm. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> just thinking about how to do this. 
So if we do it like this, we will have a volume to revolve, which will look how? Not sure, not sure, not sure. Let's revolve this around Z, cut away. That, that looks kind of correct, doesn't it? That looks pretty good, actually. We might need to start with this curve a little bit earlier. So let's just back up a step and start with this curve slightly further in. Maybe like so. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. I think that's that's uh, probably right. And then also what we should do is to be correct, be super correct. We should have, of course, holes completely through. Um, so let's go ahead and make a new sketch for that. Which way am I orientating now? That's weird. Um, there we go. I got lost in orientations here. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, one more time, 108 divided by two. And I'm guessing these are 17 millimeters. Isn't that what you usually have in cars? So let's go with 17.5. <laughs> Just to round stuff up, make some margins when you're 3D printing. Not because you're gonna do these in, in one to one. Ah, thanks, man. I always forget about uh, F6. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Um, here it's the zoom to all or look at. Let's take this one. Let's circle it around. Let's do five of those. There we go. Select. Oops. Let's select them all. And we're going to go through. There you have it. And just to be completely um, sane here, we want to make sure that we have some sort of uh, con contact surface. Usually that's what you have. So let's go ahead and do something like that. We will extrude this. Let's go with uh, yeah, whatever that was. 10 millimeters. <laughs> yeah, lost in space. That's that's me in uh, fusion for sure. So I'm just chamfering this out, and that looks mm, that's beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and do something bigger. I'm not. I mean, we don't have these dimensions, so I'm not sure how we should be. But let's go with 60, and we can also yes, two. Let's do 15 there instead. Then it looks more beautiful. So let's go ahead and do a um, inspect a section just to see here kind of how it looks now on the inside. So I'm pretty sure this is not correct, but um, fillets. I mean, before Maker Muse uh, kind of started with fillets, I was doing fillets on everything. I was spamming fillets. My my kind of word was uh, I don't know. Like fillets makes it cute or makes it look good. Anyways, add fillets to it and it would look much better. <laughs> Rule number one. <laughs> um, all right, so it, it's starting to look good. Let's maybe add some sort of details in here. Um, I'm pretty sure. Um, so if we do on this one, just to imagine how it looks. Hmm. Mm, that's not the best. That's not really how it looks. I am sure of it. Uh, maybe just leave that. Otherwise it's going to be weird. Yeah, that doesn't work. We could add like a pattern in there, but I don't want to go that route. 
It does help with the strength. Um, but is it correct? There is some sort of pattern down here. Okay, let's see. Can we get a better image on that? Um, I think I zoomed in on that image. Um, yeah, okay, there is something like that. Now, this, but wait, this tower look, this rim looks completely different. This is much rounder everywhere, and the holes are different. Um, poor sir, can you confirm it's it should be more like this rounded? Then we have some some work to do. So those are like completely through. Uh, there has to be some stop further down, but we can do that. Um, that's no issue. We can push that down even more, and do some radius up there. But then we have okay. Then we have that angle there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So remember when I did um, this here and I did the chamfer to avoid this corner? I think that we want to have that corner now. So I'm just going to change that. We're going to go in and I'm pretty sure this chamfer will work much better now. <laughs> it will. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we need to buy a Volvo. So guys, can we donate so we can buy a Volvo and I can 3D scan that so we have the rims? <laughs> um, yeah, but th this looks better. It's still at a angle. I'm not sure I want that angle. <laughs> yeah, I we're going to fix the center here. Um, in a second. So uh, this chamfer will also get w uh, wider. So to avoid that, we're going to create our own shape. Because if we look at this one, they go kind of straight down. So again, with the angles, whoops, not that one, but this one, I think the angles, no, not that one, this one. With the angles, um, it's just too much. We're gonna have to do more like five degrees chamfer instead. I think that's more natural. And now the question is, uh, how does that, okay, now it looks, now it works. Uh, not really. Hmm. But that's okay. And the next question is, of course, <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking maybe we suppress that feature for now. Why would we want to do that? No, let's not do that. Unsuppress. Okay, okay. I think I have a plan. So we're gonna hide that in section. We're, we're gonna take not that one. We're gonna go with this one. E, come on, select the right one. That one. And before we do anything, let's look at the reference again. It's kind of in an angle, but it's not a perfect angle. Hmm. Okay, so let's, to create that, let's go ahead with a chamfer first, which we can do in a angle, distance and angle. So we can do something more like that. Uh, like so. <laughs> Internet language. Um, yeah, that's going to be good. Let's also go ahead and push this down because I'm pretty sure... Nope. What happens if I do delete? Nope. I really hope that we could just continue this one. But that's not going to work either. Hmm. 
in theory, I should be able to just press pull this one and it will continue, but it doesn't. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do that, but let's go ahead with the uh, new offsets. No? No. Hmm. Let's go ahead and add that chain for later. Um, because, yeah, this is how we need to do it. So we need to add all of that later when we add other stuff, other chamfers. Yep, okay, let's back up a bit. 30 minutes, hey? <laughs> That's what we said. Um, so where's the best step to do that? <clears throat> Probably in the sketch, which is not that one, which is this one. Yeah, so let's go ahead and delete. How do we do that? How do we actually delete this radius? There's no way I can do that, right? Hmm. Radius zero. Zero point zero. <laughs> I can't put in zero. God damn. Okay, let's um let's go ahead and do that manually then. Fill the fillets. Yeah, now we have to repair the fillets by deleting it. I'm doing it the quick and dirty way because we're running out of time and it's basically this and one more small thing and then we're done. Ah, I hate when it does that. It selects everything. Okay, delete. Yes, very good. Very good. There we go. Now I kind of wish that we made this um, because any like <laughs> nice thanks. The the problem here is that I am now showing you guys a non correct way of doing this because I'm doing repetitive things which you should never do in fusion. I should actually just cut this solid in in, um, in a fifth. So whatever changes I do in that fifth, I will just be able to um, circle around and, and have it perfectly on the other ones. But I didn't do that. <laughs> so uh, maybe we do that now. Let's go to um, this view. And do we actually want to do that? No, we don't. Maybe. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to make a sketch. A line. Like so. And man, that's that's the wrong way. We should have done it this way. I'm just gonna make a line and a sketch. Then I will circle this line. There's probably be easier way of doing this. Um, there we go. And we are basically doing like this, but a bomb, but intersect instead. So now we have one fifth to work with. Much easier. <laughs> Okay, first of all, we're gonna push this down a bit. Minus uh, 40. That gonna work. Minus 35. That gonna work. Minus 30. That gonna work. Didn't work. Why did it not work? Yeah, that's, that's better. What were we doing? We were doing this radius here. <laughs> yeah, symmetry is very nice to work with. 
So I think we need to do one radius on this one. Then we're going to add another radius on this one to kind of get it to, to be correct. Super. And now, yeah, that's true. It actually kind of went through everything. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I don't know what happened, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with that. So now it's time for radio fillets. Chamfer, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it. And we had five before, so the question is, can we do five again? We cannot. Jesus. What happens if we do it in the same step? So these ones are five. It should work. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Three? Just worked. Hmm. Was it something at this step with the angle, maybe? I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, sometimes there. Now it works. It doesn't. So it's something with the, I think, the angle down here that's kind of freaking it out. Ah. Uh, three works. We could go with three. Uh, I don't remember what fillet angle I did on this one. Maybe it has to be the same as this fillet. Okay, let's go ahead with three. So we can call it. Uh, good. Can we avoid those two for now? Very nice. Um, and actually avoid that one. Because we want to add a much greater angle on this one. And then we want to add another angle on this one. Should we have two on those as well? Yes, there. What? Wait. Uh, sure. It looks cool. But is it right? It looks cool, but is it too much? It is too much. Let's just uh, slightly uh, see if we can do some less on this one. Let's see if that helps. Does it work? It does not. So if we do that to 15 instead, or 50? Yes, okay, okay. Okay, okay, let's stop. This is probably okay. Probably. And one more radius or one more fillet on this one. Three looks good here as well. And one here. <laughs> and one here. Go with three, three. Oh, but we want to have a flat surface down here as well, so you can, so it's easier to print. So let's go ahead and fix that as well. But there we go. We're starting to uh, get some progress. <laughs> three.
three is the magic number. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and fix this flatness before. So how do we do that? How do we fix that flatness? Maybe if we push it down. Yes, let's push down and we will be able to just cap this with a with a plane that goes down to that point. Let's go with minus 170. We will... No, wait, we can't do that. It has to be down to that point, 168. So let's go with minus 167. Now we will split this body using this plane and hide that little stump. And there we go, flat surface. Okay, 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 okay. So let's go ahead and do a um, pattern of circular, of bodies, of axis in Z or Z. Do it with five. We have five bodies. We will go ahead and combine them. Ta-da! Do you want to have the R as well? I'm not sure it's going to translate if you scale it down and print it, but... Um, do you want it? Ah. Now also all of this shape is... It's, it's not round enough. <laughs> it's not round enough, but uh, maybe maybe it's maybe it's okay. Uh, depends on you. I mean, if we're gonna be if we're gonna be correct about it, it's it's not perfect on the inside here. But uh, I think we'll 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 have to call it. If you want to do more changes on this, you you can of course. Um, did you want the R by the way? Should we add that? Nah, let's keep that. Let, let's continue with the next model. So we're going to create a component. R type rim. I'm supposedly I'm supposed it's called. Wait, did I do the no, there it is. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's isolate that. Let's make sure. Let's go ahead and throw it into the render. Just to make sure it looks kind of okay. Yep, 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 yep. Kind of okay. Looks like a rim of some sorts. Arr, you nuts. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and export that. Um, just making sure that it's... Um... Yeah, let's save it as a Fusion project so anyone can open it up. <laughs> Is it lagging a bit? So let's just make sure. Hmm. I'm getting some low speeds here. Sometimes that happens, unfortunately. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. So, um, yeah, we exported it as that. Let's export it as a STL as well. So anyone can download it. Uh, let, by the way, let's do a step. A step is nice to have. And let's go ahead and 3D print it. Let's see, how does the um, meshing look? That should be okay to scale both up and down.
can see my keyboard for the for the thingy. Okay, so I'm gonna um, quickly upload these files. I hope that's the plan at least. Um, I think I have to do them as a zip file. Okay, we have a zip file. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You're you're starting to get a little bit um, <laughs> power crazy there, are we? <laughs> Insufficient funds. Okay, so I had that page um, on the website. Let's see if I can add that. do I add? Uh... Okay, 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 okay. Give me one second here. I'm just trying to um, to make this file uh, available to you. So you can download it. Joshing. I'm gonna give you my uh, link here in a second. That should work. So if anybody wants to, um... <laughs> hmm, I can't even chat on my own YouTube um, chats. That's really weird. <laughs> uh, there we go. This is really weird. YouTube says I'm not logged in, so I can't chat. Um, <laughs> why? <laughs> what the hell? How can I live stream if I'm still offline? There we go. <laughs> can you guys see that file? Yeah, uh, there should be a zip file there if you want to download the Fusion uh, folder and the um, and the files and everything. Hope that works. Oh, I I should probably be save it myself. Uh, <laughs> Okay, cool. Hope you don't leave the stream now just because I'm showing you this. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is the best or safest way of uh, doing um, file sharing, but uh, it's what I have for now. Okay, cool. So let's move on to the next model, which is this one. If I don't have any other requests, I can't see a lot of them. Um, there we go. Nice. I see your model now, Patrick. Uh, that's a really nice house model that you made in Fusion. I'm going to show people here. Um, 
if they want to see it. It's on the Publix. Of course, poor sir. Uh, you're so welcome. Yeah, do both models. Front hold shape is something I think I'm. Yeah, holds are. Uh, I think it's. You have to use forms to do that. You could, of course, loft through a lot of uh, intersections, but um, um, I think that that's that's going to be really tricky. Um, yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next one, which should be this helmet from imagination to form so we have some issues creating the um, those indentations these ones here I mean the helmet is, is nice and all but how do we like do these good indentations so if we look at a reference image which I am trying to find for you in a second Something like this. Is that the correct one? Nah, that's not the correct one, is it? <laughs> no, you did it well. It, it's it's nice. It's a good, really good start. Um, so basically, if we, I'm looking at your model here. I'm not sure what kind of dimensions do we have. Is this uh, diameter? 167 millimeters that's a pretty small face isn't isn't it 167 hmm It'll, you'll have to scale that up and down uh, however you want um but yeah let's um make sure we have like a real helmet And I'm not really a Star Wars nerd, so please correct me if this is like the wrong... Okay, here we have it. So we have like a circular shape on the outside, and then we have this this indentation. There we have it, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to let you scale it up and down. Um, but I'm going to focus on this area. So just to kind of give us something to start with. I'm going to create a, uh, a new model inside here. Um, I'm going to make a new component. Inside that, I want to have, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do, yeah, let's go with 180. So I really like this this pattern that you have. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to use that. So to get the angles and everything correctly, um, I'm going to do extrude like this. So uh, and and uh, how far up is that? So notice now I'm doing a surface extrude, not a solid. So let's go with 180. And that is because I want to project a new sketch. And I want to project the patterns you have already done. I'm not gonna um, copy everything here. Uh, let's go ahead and just make sure we're hiding the right models. There we go. So I want to project, well, I can take that whole shape. Good, so now we have a sketch. No, go ahead. I mean, I mean, this is as public as it gets. So just share the stream how, how much you want. Uh, <laughs> feel free. Um, so I kind of forgot that I want to do this um, this project on sketch here. So let's just <clears throat> delete that. Let's make an offset plane, 200, because this is where I want to project the sketch. And we are projecting that. Very good. Very good. Now we have this here. So 
what I want to do now is to, to be able to create this thickness and the way you have done here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to critique this model a little bit because if we look at the reference one, which we have here, I'm pretty sure that that this, this extrusion doesn't go, uh, it doesn't go like perfectly. I'm just going to show you here. So if I, um, if I just patch this up and make a cylinder of it, which we're not going to do. This is all to, to, all to just demonstrate what I don't want. Um, let's go 160. I don't want this model to be um, extruded completely through like this. So if we just do like this, you see we have these angles that are all um, just looking from, from the sketch. This this sketch. So it's, it's like a, a pure extrusion uh, just directly in. And that's not really what we want. Um, so to kind of combat that, um, Ah, okay, I could always, always do that. Yeah, so um, I'm going to show you guys a trick, which hopefully works, um, but it's of course a little bit more trickier. Uh, not trickier, but um, it's just another way of doing it. So remember, this these are the issues. So if we back up a step and actually go back to here. So we only have a, uh, we don't have a, a solid yet. We only have a shape. So what we can then do is that we can um, split this face using uh, this tool here. So we're now splitting it. We're creating, oh, we shouldn't really create that one. Let's, um, <laughs> mm, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It does, doesn't matter. So we have now created this one here. What we can do with this one is that we, uh, we can offset it. So we're going to do a create um, offset. And we're going to select only this one. And you see now if I offset this one here, it will uh, offset and, and just become smaller. Woohoo! Or sir, thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, well, hopefully some people enjoy, uh, enjoy some 3D modeling. So you see, when I do an offset on a, uh, on a on a cylindrical surface, it will keep that shape. Um, so therefore, if we now decide this, the thickness, which I think was 10 millimeters, which should be minus, we have now created ourselves um, a, a better shape to, to create. And usually you can do a few different ways, but what I like to do is to basically create a loft. So I'm going to create a loft from this surface, the outer one, Click on plus here to select the other one. And we have now created ourselves a new body. Or at least the shapes of it. So if I... Yeah, I kind of need to uh, delete the other surfaces now. We'll, we'll recreate the cylinder later. But there you have it. So it's now offset instead, which means that everything is kind of shrunk down. So if we now stitch these three unstitched surfaces, we will have one body. Magic, correctly, <laughs> just magic. Uh, so what we can do now is so we can reuse um, this here. And of course, we are going to change that 160. Um, hello. Sometimes I do the stupidest things. This one is what I want to do. And we wanted it to be 180. 180. We want to create a new model. There we go. And now, if you guessed it, we will use the new cylinder that we did. And we will cut away the center from, from this one. So now it all looks better. <laughs> Burn it! And of course, I mean, this helmet doesn't really need it, but if you want, you can add chamfers. And you can add 
Say it with me. Fillets! <laughs> We're not going to have fillets in this one. Uh, maybe, I mean, if you're printing this one, I would suggest doing chamfers um, like in here. Uh, just to kind of spare your face a little bit. So you don't die from uh, wearing this helmet. That would be unfortunate. Let's just making it rounder on the inside. But that's a later problem. Now you know how to do that uh, that hole. Let's hide that sketch too. Uh, but that wasn't really the issue, was it? Uh, I think the issue was more these indentations. Um, we could always look at a little bit from the side. I don't know. I need to find a, a Boba Fat helmet correctly from the side. Um, mm -mm. Let me find that side. Is Google that well? Oh, it is kind of that well. Okay, so if we look at this one. Ooh, that's a high resolution image. We should probably maybe. <laughs> it does. We should maybe do something about that. Mm. Yeah, okay. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and back up a step. So we still have we still have this one here, and we can actually push this one in, and we can push this one out, just so we have the correct shape of everything. And I'm actually going to create a form. Um, and we're going to do a cylinder with a radius of it was 180. Why can't I put dimensions in here? Okay, we need to see this sketch. This a um, cylinder. There we go. Should be 180 tall as well. Good. We want to have some symmetry um, in that axis. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, yes, the flesh wound. Um, so, let us do this. We're going to take this image. We're going to save it. We are going to back up a step. We're going to insert it. Insert canvas. On that plane. Oh, it's a tiny image. Tiny, tiny image. Rotate. We're going to scale. We're going to move it around a little bit. So let's just show your first cylinder so we have some sort of rough shape on what we're working with. Um, That should be good. Um, oh, we put that canvas in there. Okay. Can we put it in this one? Nope, you cannot. I don't know why that canvas was created in the older, um, the older one. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go ahead and enter the form mode. And um, yeah, basically, we have the cylinder, and as you can see, this green line we have symmetry. So if I start to move here in the back, it will uh, mirror to the other side, basically. So I'm probably going to have to do something like this. Um, we're we're going to do, by the way, let's change to box mode. I find that to be much easier and quick in like the first stages. Um, it's easier to see where things are not lining up and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead with this dot. Move that up as well. Move this one up a little bit. 
And I think to make it easier on ourselves, we're going to keep this um, uh, this form up here. So by holding down Alt and dragging, we are creating new lines. But since these ones here will start to be like the rounded top of the head, I actually want to keep like a sharp edge here. So I'm going to do um, a tool called Bevel Edge. I'm going to drag that down a lot. So we get like uh, like this here, because this will help keep a sharper form uh, when we smooth this out. Let's go ahead with the form again, drag it up, scale it down, basically cap it. Cap, 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 cap. Where is cap? Fill hole. <laughs> it's not called cap anymore. Um, let's see what's best. Let's just collapse it. Cool, and um, to give ourselves again a little bit to work with, because uh, we have some width on this helmet, we are going to do things a little bit wider here. A little bit wider, and maybe in the back as well. Let's do things just slightly wider. So big heads can fit there in it as well. And probably this line should be further up too. Okay. Okay, that's the base. Let's smooth it out. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess it's something. I don't, I don't like it, but it's something. Um, I'm going to do this one wider as well. <laughs> you sure you're uh, mature enough to be <laughs> the moderator? <laughs> Oh yeah, and we need to have the sharp uh, shin, right? So let's just add some sharpness in that. So if you want to add sharpness, you drag more lines closer to it. That's how you get the sharper shapes. Okay, 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 okay. Um, there we go. It's, a, it's something to start with. So let's just go ahead with this. Um, Now, if we do like this, so we, no, sorry, we do a solid, we do surface, we do, what's it called, the tool, create thickness. That's what we want, and we want to have 10 millimeters. So there we go, 10 millimeter thickness. We now have ourselves a uh, helmet-ish shape. So again, we can go ahead and take that shape. We're going to, well, wait a minute. With this shape? No, not that shape. With this body, we're going to cut with that T shape. There we have it. That, that looks a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit different. But hey, let's. I'm I'm showing you the tools. Uh, chamfer. Was that the word? Chamfer? <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. Now, what we want to do, it's really hard to see because this canvas is in the wrong model. So let's activate this one. Uh, okay, we should probably do this front a little bit more correctly. I think so. There we go. Ta-da! Better-ish. Ah, flow. Yes. Yeah. Very good. You. you nice. Very good. Yes. You. You want to have flow in your model in your lines, especially in box mode. Like the more flow we have here, like this is a really sharp um, point. 
if I don't want to have sharpness near, I should make it flow less or yeah, flow more. And the same here, if I want to have the sharpness in the back, I will, will add two lines closer to each other. So same here, I want to have a flow between. So if I if we now stop this form, you see that we have created like, like a little indentation here, like a little dot. And also you see up here where I did the chamfer or the bevel, I did these lines. Because those lines are so close to each other, we get this uh, more sharper shape up here. So again, uh, just to illustrate, if I would add uh, insert an edge in between, um, it, it does a little bit, but it doesn't do super much. Uh, we can, of course, uh, if we remove that line, we can also add a uh, or create a crease on this one. But if we do that, it's going to be like a perf like a perfect uh, crease. That that's really weird. Why did you do that? Do we need to select two faces? Oh, okay, there we go. But but that uh, only creates like a super sharp edge, and that's that's not what we want. And we don't want that on the rear as well. So let's just uh, go ahead and change that away. Great. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's that's how flow works. So again, uh, the same thing is if we want to have it, it, there's like so few polygons here. Cut out box mode. Cut, cut out in box mode. Cut out. This model in box mode, um, you see here. Then if we do that in, uh, yeah, you can see like this, combined. So the more, uh, the crazier things we do with edges close to each other or points, uh, the sharper the details will be. But if you do like this here, you see, I want to add some sharpness. So let's say we want to have like this creased line. But if we only look at the box mode now, which we can do here, you see that they're actually intersecting. So this will create a problem. Uh, often when you click on finished form, you will get an error, which I did here, uh, because it can't close shapes that are intersecting like this. So if I instead want to have this sharpness, um, I can add details and do it like that. <laughs> Life always calls. See you later, man. Thank you for stopping by and huge thank for the donation, man. I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and just back up here a little bit so we don't destroy our shape. Because now we are getting to the um, and to this step here. So we have really two ways of doing this. Uh, I would suggest doing a loft. So um, we should think of this model as two different um, uh, different planes, and then we'll, we'll uh, um, cut through them. So just like we did before, we can go ahead and create a sketch on this dimension, and we'll, we'll just overlap uh, roughly on the outside of this shape. Um, let's go ahead and do that line, and then we'll do a spline. Oops a spline for the rest of it. Trying to just follow along. And I think I think that's it. And of course I did that sketch um, in the center. But yeah, basically what we can do here is that we'll, we'll take this um, the surface here. We will split this face again using this line. Not exactly sure that's how it looks. So let's go ahead and yeah, it's a smooth shape. 
So let's go ahead and just back up a little bit. Change that. See how that looks. Mm, 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 not yet, not yet. I think we need to... There we go, so it's a flat one. There we go, now we have our outside shape. You guys uh, following along? <laughs> yeah, how did it? How did Lucas uh, come up with this helmet? Um, okay, so um, again, this is one way of doing it, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of liking it so far. So with this step here, uh, we can do the same thing if we want to, but it's actually it's like a, uh, like an angle. So if we look at the reference here again, um, so this lower part is kind of close to um, where the helmet already is, while this one here seems to be like further in the model. So by just taking this one here and creating a offset, did it not split through? minutes. I can't do an offset on that one. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay. I need I think I know what I need to do. So when I have these ones combined, I will probably have to delete these ones here. And then we can do the splits because now I have this surface and that surface I should be able to offset. Why can't I do it? Hmm. Sometimes things bug. So if we want to offset, you know, this doesn't work. Um, let's just take this sketch here. And let's uh, extrude that sketch like so. We should now be able to split face. This is the face with the tool. This body is the tool. Now we have a thingy that we might be able to offset. <gasps> it doesn't work. Huh. Frustration 360. You, my friend, you are correct. Um, why doesn't it work? Maybe it's uh, because it's a body. So um, that's fine. It really is. We can work with that anyways. So what we want to do is that we'll create a, uh, a tool, a body, sorry, a form. <laughs> All of these words and none are correct. Uh, we'll do create, no, sorry, we'll do uh, convert. So we'll convert a B-Rep to a shape. And I'm thinking I'm going to do it quite light here because all I want is really the roundness. Because what I want to do later is basically this. I want to delete some things. <laughs> Words are really hard. Uh, and I want to move this in, like something like that. You can actually even scale it down so it starts to look... Uh, roughly the same. Yes, we want to make sure that it doesn't go through our auto model. So now we have something like this. Should be able to delete this one here as well. I think that's just in the way. So why did I do this? Well, I kind of want to start forming this one so that it, at least on the side, looks um, something like this. I 
thing is that I want this to be round. I don't want this to be... Um... So how do we do that? We do a bevel. Can we do that on a point? Nope, we can't. Ah, uh, of course, of course. So we're, we're doing it in a, in a tricky way, I know. <laughs> so I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger than planned. Because again, uh, all I want is really, you see this angle here, this has compared to this shape. That, that's really all uh, I want to have. And I don't want it to go through the model. So this one here, if you look on the bottom side, we kind of have to go in a little bit because we need the model to go in but we don't want it to be to go too much and scale that down. What we can do is we can also um, make uniform with this one. There we go, it should be better. And we want to expand this one as well. So I'm basically doing it too large um, everywhere. So that when we do a new sketch, let's go ahead and hide that body. We can then start drawing the inside shape. I promise it will kind of make sense. It's really hard to see the inside shape here, but I'm trying to follow along. So if you do like this, we intersect, we are left with a surface. We can then go back to this one. Things are getting tricky here. So the plan is, of course, to delete this one. We now have the inside. Ta-da! But before we do that, um, I kind of want to make sure that we have um, a good surface here to, uh, to cut from. So I want to make sure that we have a flat surface here, a really good surface. So I'm going to uh, repair this model by basically, what's the tool called? There we go, patch it, not Patrick, <laughs> patch it. So I'm gonna patch that, I'm gonna stitch it so that we end up with a body. And with this body, I will... Uh... Hey, thank you. I will create a line. Just something so that we can cut from. I'm gonna try to keep as much of my model as possible. Um... Like so. So the reason I'm doing this is just to make sure that I have a clean line that I can then cut my models from. We're gonna split bodies, we'll split this body with this line. So we then end up with this this little like trash trash piece, trash piece. Uh, we're also going to split another body, which is this one, with the same line, if I can find it. There we go. So that means that. If you're following along, it <laughs> means that if we have uh, removed the canvas, so you see, and also this sketch here, you see that these, um, that surface is now perfectly flat, which means that it's easier to print, but it also means that when I remove this one here, oops, uh, in surface mode, it's really important to do it in surface, uh, we now have a um, uh, this model here that we can, can use with. <laughs> Lucas did not use CAD back in uh, back in the day. So um, if we thicken this one outwards, kind of just want to make sure that I have enough um, 
Oops. So if we do, if we click in that one, we're going to create, nope. So you see, this is the problem now. My plan is to do like this. So I'm going to create a loft from that edge to this edge and that's one and this one. So we get the shape. So that's the plan. But we can't just do that because then we'll have troubles down here. We can't stitch these models together. So I'm thinking ahead and, and trying to fix this issue down here before we do uh, this surface. So to do that, I want this model to continue through. And the easiest way of doing that is to basically be smart with naming. So this is helmet. This file is inner dent, whatever that's called. And then we're going to make a copy of the inner dent. And hide the first one. Because then I want to, um, oh, what's it called? Extend this line here. It's going to extend that down to make sure that it goes through the auto model. And you can do this by extending type natural. So it kind of follows the whole, uh, the whole shape. <laughs> That's good imagination. I like your thinking. Um, <laughs> maybe this shape would be probably easier to just hammer it out. <laughs> uh, okay. So you see what I have now, what I want to do is to, um, thicken this one outwards. That will create ourselves this intersection. So now we go ahead and we do split face. So we're going to split this face here below with the tool, this body, like so. You see, now we have this edge here. We're going to delete it. We're going to show our indentation, which means that we are... Um, basically ready to do the, the complete loft now. So what we can actually do as well is to stitch these two, two uh, together with a really small tolerance so we don't ruin any corners. And now we are going to loft that edge towards all of these ones and that one. And this one, and that one, and that one. Maybe in here we have a little bit of an issue. Huh. It's not the perfect way, but it's a way of doing it. Um, I don't want this to be connected like that. Hmm. Hmm. Usually this works, but uh, it left some kind of ugly here. So what if we do... So what if we don't do it that way? <laughs> what if we instead do it... Um, like this? Ah, of course, I'm so dumb. Uh, <laughs> what we want to do is to create a loft between that and this one but limit its, um, its surface. No, that's not going to work either. Um, maybe it's not an issue. Maybe it is not, it's, it's not an issue. I'm trying to fix things that are not broken. Because if we do like this, this is probably, by the way, now when we're still doing changes, this one is probably like much further in, I think. Yeah, that looks better. Um, so let's redo this loft down there and that piece there. Nice. <laughs> That's what we do. Um, so you see, it's not really an issue because what we can do now 
is that we will reverse the normal on this surface so you can see the cool looks of it. That's, that's how it's going to look. It's still only, as you can see, it's only bodies here. <laughs> then you haven't fixed enough. You, ha you have to keep fixing it. And then suddenly it's, it's uh, just not broken anymore. <laughs> okay, so remember before when I said that this plane here is a perfectly flat surface? Yes, that means that we can actually sketch on it. So we are going to sketch on it. And we are going to project that surface, this surface, and that surface. That will end up with a, uh, a model here that we should be able to uh, use as a surface splitting a face, which is this face. I just need to select that split. No, split with the. Um, e. So maybe I do need to do a model. Bear with me. So I'm. What I'm doing now is that I'm splitting a face, and it's this face. Splitting that using this tool. That I just designed. Now we hide the tool. We can delete that part of the of the model, and it looks good. Did, did you follow along, or do you want me to repeat that step? Basically, I created um, from this sketch here. If we look at this isolated sketch, I sketched on. This, um, this surface, I projected where this surface ends, this highlighted now one. <laughs> you need a tool. <laughs> yes. Um, he, of course, I will mirror it. <laughs> I'm not going to do this twice. Um, so so that's, that's the sketch. And with that sketch, I created a thickness. So now if you imagine this, um, this blue surface as a plane, it was basically intersecting those two. So we got a, uh, a cut in this surface. I'm just going to hide the sketches so you can see. So with that cut, with this part here now, we can just click delete on that one. And we are now ready to stitch this together. So we'll go ahead and stitch from bigger to smaller. Now we can see we have a perfect body and obviously, as some of you are already uh, thinking about, we are going to split that body along the, um, the y, x, y plane. Delete the old one or just hide it. And then we're going to do mirror bodies. Your plane, the same plane, and ta-da! We have a helmet. Uh, it will imagination to form. Um, are you okay with me exporting this one? Um, or maybe I should... Uh, yeah, I will save um, my file. Um, so you'll, you'll get that as, as well. So I think that's... Um, well, I mean, we could... We could always add like these kind of details, but I think you can do that yourself, right? But, but you're all right with me sharing this file. Yeah, thank you very much. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So um, is there anything, did I get any other? I don't see anyone else uh, asking to be included here. Whoa, man! I just uh, noticed the, um, the donation there. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. I <laughs> um, just want to see on Twitter if um, Patrick has some ID on something I could 3D model. 
So this is uh, what Patrick is talking about. It's uh, I don't want to be that guy, Patrick, but it's uh, it's not really that easy to uh, 3D model this by um, you know when it's underwater. I can't really see the shape of the hull, so uh, <laughs> if you could provide me with the hull, it would be a little bit easier to do a CAD model of it. If you want me to. Um, all right, so uh, before we continue, if you have anything you want me to 3D model, maybe something for a gift, something that you don't have time to do yourself before printing it as a Christmas present, um, please make sure to um, send me that on Twitter or here in, in the chat, and I'll be happy to model it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use my X-ray vision. Um, so with that said, I think we should uh, take this component, this, this helmet, so let's go ahead and export that so people can download it from my website. And please do that fast. Um, um, it, it's going to be, I don't know how long I can host it there. So let's do this um, now. I don't know if it's correct. It looks, it looks kind of OK. Just make sure we didn't destroy the inside right now. That's good. <laughs> For sure, man. It's fun. I love 3D modeling. So let's go ahead with this component. We will export it. Let's call it uh, Boba uh, Fett, which is more Swedish and not copyrighted. <laughs> Maybe. So let's do that as a Fusion file. Let's also do it as a step. And finally, let's do it as a STL. Oh, we don't need to preview mesh here. Although it looks pretty cool. Did I uh, forget to remove uh, any lines that I... Uh... Uh, it's just rendering issues. Uh, but okay, let's export it as STL as well. On that screen <laughs> and there we go dun, 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 dun. okay so I'm just gonna put that on the website fast as well Boba Fett uh, zip those files Um, there we go. Any requests on uh, models to use? Um, I did save it as a copy. I'm very sorry. Uh, <laughs> oops. So you will have to download the files as well shortly. Um, coming up in a sec. Sorry. I thought I could save it as a copy, but I made it the other way around. Right. Let's go ahead. Upload the file. <laughs> Sorry. So, any anyone else uh, have any suggestions for? Um, 3D models I can model. Don't say Cybertruck, because then I will probably have to do it, which is going to take like five minutes. <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing that. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm getting the Boba Fett file um, up on the website any second now. Any second. Any second now. It's hard to multitask. There we 
we go. I think the website is updated. So if you want to have this a nice looking 3D model, the dump truck, you can go to antomanson.com slash files and you should find it somewhere there. I hope. I hope. Hello. No? Why not? Why does it not work? Something is wrong. Give me a second. <laughs> Try to fix stuff. Okay, there we go. Let me update. And ta -da! there it is. Sorry about that. You should see it now on that link. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. So I need uh, new 3D models. Is there anything anyone want me to 3D model? I'll be happy to do that. Well, I have this thing here as well. <laughs> Give me a second. <sighs> it's kind of heavy. But I'm... Um, uh... Showing you my address and everything. I'm a strong guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I want to start unboxing that. Um, ah, we have a hole. Yeah, it's the Jaguar 3D printer. I think, yes, it should be. But I really don't know what model it is. It's uh, it's a bit, it's a, some sort of printer. Let's see. Do I have an image? Okay. 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 We have we have a that's a really nice reference image. Um, where's pro? Yeah. Um, resin printers. It's uh, I have mine right here. Um, yeah, I saw it. Um, you can see here. That's a pretty nice uh, reference image. Kind of nice to see the sh the the hole. Um, it's almost like flat on this side. That's even better. That's easy easier to work with. So you have to kind of um. Well, have to, but uh, I try to kind of de what's it called, de model the shape uh, to, to find the different types of shapes. So, in theory, we could model this by having one side. One, if you find like an image from the side, we would use this as, uh, as like a flat side. Okay, yeah, uh, but I would want to combine all these shapes anyway, so, so you would just have to build uh, in the front. Um, and it's kind of flat here as well. I'm pretty sure it's like flowing. Yeah, hmm, hmm. Okay, okay. 
That's true. Um, yeah, you see her on the flat sides. Um, I will try. I don't think it's easier to, to just like start with. <laughs> Row your boat here. Um, hmm, should I go with that? Just thinking on how to kind of like finish it. But okay, 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 okay. Let's um, let's see what we can do. So if we start off with, um, uh, by the way, we, we were talking about resin printers before. Uh, I haven't shown you guys my office. I promised to do that in, in the beginning. Um, I'm not sure if everyone here wants to see it, but um, yeah, if you want, let me know and I'll bring this little camera along. So let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start. So this camera is, um, yeah, this is the new office. Here you can see my computer screen right now, stream screen, microphone. Uh, working CAD. Uh, so this is actually a camera that you're looking on me uh, most of the times. Yes, this is a privacy filter. Uh, I am working on the, getting the Hero 3 all plugged in, so that works well. But basically, this here is my little office. So I have my door here. I have my background shelf that is currently not really in order. It's... Uh, a 2D printer up there. <laughs> we have the Ferrari Enzo up there. We have some other 3D prints in that ba basket as well. A bunch of materials. Then we have the Flash Forge Adventure 3. We also have our mascot machine, the Block Zero, with like all the stickers. Let me show you. So with this one, we have stickers from like everywhere. Everyone's representing on this one. And if you haven't sent me a sticker, you, you can just ask for the address and we'll, we'll fix that. Stickers for days. Uh, it's a good mask of machine. It's, it's maybe not the best printer compared to other ones. We have our my filming camera and some uh, not sponsors of the channel, but they, hey, they can get some exposure anyways. Magigoo. And Dimafix. <laughs> uh, down here we have the BCN 3D. Whoa, that's hard to see. The BCN 3D, and on this side, um, it's the Piopoli Mai, and I had to pack it in during moving and shipping because I really want to protect it from dust and everything. I don't have a good solution to run this without sitting in the same room while uh, resin fumes and everything is around, so I kind of don't know how to run that right now. I'm hoping to maybe have some power um, pulled up to the attic and maybe have it in there. But we'll, we'll have to see. It's very, very cold in the attic. So on the other side of the screen, we have some storage, project files, and like not files, but project storage of everything. So it's going to be fun to uh, fit some, some printers and scanners. Up there, we have the light, so it's hard to see. But in the black box, we have a 3D scanner, and the plan is to have that living up there on the shelf, so I can always 3D scan some small objects if I need to. We have a window to the world, which is very nice, I did not have that before. And more things from moving filaments and stuff like that. So yeah, that's uh, the new office, which is kind of small. It's not a lot of space to um, to do filming on, but I hope to, um, to be able to do that somehow. I'm not really sure how, uh, but it should work. So yeah, that's that's a tour of the office, um, the new office in the new apartment, which is super nice. But hey, let's go back to 3D modeling. So somehow, some way, I don't know how. Wait, where is the screen? Oh, I can. Whoa, I can scroll that. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um, ah, you have printed a RC plane. Nice. Is that? Um, uh, what's he called? Um, the the rush uh, the dot ru 
there's uh, this this person who sells all the really nice plants for 3D printing airplanes. Is this is one of those that you bought? Anyways, okay, let's try to get started with this model here. Mm. Thank you, thank you very much. So, how do we do this best? Um, <laughs> I think it's always very difficult to know which side I want to start on. But let's go ahead and do Gasp one. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. Um, so we, we basically create a. What was that? A. Um, Not shoreline, but some kind of shape of the um, uh, the side of the boat. I'm not entirely sure um, how we're doing this. But I think it was like. Uh, Something like that. Was that a flat line? It needs to be flat. And then we continue with a sketch. We probably have to uh, redo some of this, but I think that's that's a good start. Okay. So that, uh, I imagine that this is the side of the model, the booty boat. Then somewhere we need to have, let's see, it's, it's actually quite far to the front. It should be like half the boat is uh, something like, oops, let's do with this instead. I really like the BCNs. Um, let's see, Cold in Michigan. Ah, electronics, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Um, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know exactly how it is. Um, well, it's not, I, I'm not really gonna use these blinds. I'm gonna use them mostly to kind of figure out where I want things to be, I think. Um, so what I'll use then when I go into 3D dimension, um, yeah, the, the new BCN looks super nice. Um, I still have a review on this one. I have filmed it. I have not edited it. I'm really slow. I hope to get some time off before New Year's, but I don't think it's going to happen. I have a review for, um, for that machine and uh, yeah, I'm just way too late. I also have a review of this one, but basically I really love the BCN. I think it works. It's it's an awesome machine. It is slightly more slower in the software because they're using Cura BCN version like 2.3 or something in, in the old one. Um, so if you if we will compare to the Ultimaker, which is kind of the same level when it comes to Ultimaker 3, that is, I would say that it's it's. It's the same performance, especially if you use BCN materials or one of the presets, as it is with the Ultimaker. Ultimaker is super nice as long as you use the Ultimaker materials. Otherwise, you still need to do some mixing and some some testing to get good results. And the same goes with this one. Uh, other than that, it's slightly louder than I wanted to, and um, 
yeah, other than that, it's very nice. Uh, I think that's the review summarized. So, um, let's go back here. Let's just do something to get uh, ourselves with a three dimension here, something to work from. Maybe that's a good width of the boat, I don't know. Okay, so one way now, which is a pretty crazy way, but we could actually do a loft. Let's go ahead and do like a loft like this. So that's one way of starting it. Um, I'm not sure if this is how we're gonna do it, but uh, let's try. Let's try this and see if this is uh, a good way of doing it. And we'll, we'll go from there. So by design, I want to have few lines, which makes uh, a smoother surface with more control. And I can then add in lines if I want to start shaping down the, the, the form. So that's why I'm starting more like this. We're not going to do that. Um, just thinking, does it help if I add... No, on this one. I want to add... Oh, I need to add there. No, 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 no. We are not going to do that. <laughs> cool. So there we go. Now let's start to redefine this shape. So one of the first, first, first things we need to do, by the way, I need a drink real soon. Um, we want to use a tool called Merge Edges. Where is it? Merge edge. So you can see this dark black line here. Um, we want to align two of those. So I'm selecting these two just to connect these shapes. So now you see that all the lines go uh, perfectly together. And one of the th other things to do here is to start um, like pulling away surface here. So by doing that, we create this crease, which is not really good. But if we select this one here and we, oops, we scale that down, we basically remove all the scale. So you can even put in 0 0.001, for example. That will help us get a, a smooth surface. So even though we don't want this to be perfectly flat, we don't have any like um, uh, intersections with each shape. This will kind of flow from this flat surface into whatever we design. So I think that we should then uh, continue with the front because obviously, even though it looks cool and it's, uh, it, it could be super, uh, um, what's it called? Not buoyant, but super, same goes with this one, by the way. We need to scale this to, to, um, to work with the files. We might have to do some tricking later on as well. Just scaling these to remove any tensions in the dots. Um, just to make it even better, we can start doing some symmetry. So let's make a duplicate uh, symmetry. Yeah, we can weld it, why not? And that makes it a little bit easier to start working on, uh, on the shape here. So although, and also, do as you teach. I'm going to start working with the uh, with with um, box mode. So we have quite the big front up here. It should be sharp, but not too sharp. We need to have some sort of rounded sharpness here. Also, um, I'm pretty sure. It's, yeah, it is kind of sharp. <laughs> I have a bear thirst, but uh, I don't have any bears at home. So we want to add, we, not add, but we want to keep as much sharpness as possible here in the front. Um, because it is, if we look, again, if we look at the reference, it's, it's very sharp in the front. Uh, I think we might have to um, do some magic to get that just like we want. Uh, so it should, in theory, go in. And then when the next one comes, it kind of has to uh, continue on that. 
This one here should also be fairly far in. I mean, hey, let's not go crazy. Um, I'm thinking those should go down. Should probably also go down. Uh, sometimes, if if uh, I'm getting a little bit wild, I use the combined mode. So I I work with the boxes, but also with the with the other shape. So I'm pretty sure that this one here has to go in more. And maybe all of these ones should go in a little bit more. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we need this review. Start pushing them in like so a bit. Hmm. It's starting to look pretty okay. So if we deselect this one by moving this further down, or actually not down, by moving it further out, we reduce that um, that sharpness or uh, these angles. We get smoother angles. It's starting to look pretty good, right? <laughs> Yes, uh, we still have uh, some work to do. Mm. I'm pretty sure that this one here is just too far out. These ones uh, haven't like started. Uh, we don't have a hole over there yet. And then we have this one here. You might want to just round that off a bit Not too much mm. so what happens if we drag this forward we get a rounder and I think it's it looks rounder <laughs> thanks Patrick um, I think the design of this boat is quite a lot rounder at the top so we want to keep that rounder so we maximize the surface area so it's easier for you to continue building on that one later on so something like that um, cool what we can also start to do now is to start to look a little bit at the rear um, we don't know much about how it ends but there has to be kind of propeller so if we do If we do like this, we start flowing these ones inwards, we might be able to just take this. I'm going to hold down Alt, I'm going to drag it. So I'm now kind of committing to this design, at least something like that. Then I'm pretty sure that we have to have a space for the propeller. So let's go ahead and try to remove. So by uh, taking away any details on um, on the lines here, we are basically removing this sharp hull, as you can see down here, and making it flatter. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, so we still probably need to work with this area a little bit later. Um, but again, let's look at the reference model. Where did I put that? Where did it go? Um, it's really hard to see here, but I think that there's like a flat plane and then it's probably kind of good at the top. So again, if we move things closer to each other, we get a sharper details. So we might even do something like that. So we get this sharp finish, but to be honest, uh, I think we need to back everything up. So um, here's also a different tip. Now I want to move these ones here, but if I move these ones forward, or if we do like this, if I just move all of this forward, I will start to create a crease in here. Um, so instead of doing it like that, 
I will kind of move those two, but I will also move this line here a little bit. And you can even scale that down to reduce its in, um, effect on that. Oh, it needs to be longer. Yeah, it's kind of flat right now. <laughs> it looks flat. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep it then. It looks good, I think. Um, but this should mean that we are almost ready to um, kind of start to round this all off. Again, I'm not really sure about this. But hey, let's... Uh, Let's see. So if we continue this back. <laughs> Viking longboats. Um, again, reference image. Where are you? It looks to be kind of flat there. So let's continue with kind of flat. Um, so and then we round this off to do that we need more edges the more edges you have in an area the better the smoother you can make it I think I'm gonna keep it at that for now, and then we'll we'll probably fix that later or something. And let's see how does it actually look down here. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I kind of forgot about your first picture. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. It needs to be... We'll, we'll probably have to do this even longer, but um, we can we can do that later. We can start with that. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. What I kind of want to do now is to take these shapes and do a really small movement like super small the reason for that is the more edges you have close to each other um, the nicer it is so for example what you can do now is to do like this to be able to select this one and uh, crease that one. No, not bridge. Crease uh, this whole line. Because if we crease that, uh, we give ourselves much more uh, ability to um, to like model this surface exactly how we want it. So in this case, I might want all of these to be. Uh, come on, select. There we go. I can just flatten those, move them to a height that I want. Yeah, so the crease gets a sharper edge down here, but uh, I think I need to go out of the box mode uh, soon to show you. By the way, we can also, with this one, we can kind of do something like that. Uh, and then, we will do things like this. We'll do these, pull flat. That's not what I meant. I meant flatten. Um, so if we select all of these ones, I want to flatten them. Uh, parallel plane to Z. There we go. We have flat surface up there. 
The same goes with these ones. Ooh, we need to fix the down here. <laughs> yes, this is the, the 3D Benji HD. Um, so let's go have flatten those as well. Parallel plane, parallel to Z plane. Yes, this is unacceptable. We cannot have it like this. Um, I'm not sure why that even happened. But let's remove these ones. So then we have a flat to, to work with later. <laughs> the real bench. Um, yeah, okay. So let's do something here. Let's go ahead and check out the non-crease plane. So you see, we still have a crease here, but what I can do if I don't want to use it is that since I've created this line, I can now bevel it. I can bevel it uh, three times, for example. Oops, that's not what I meant. I meant I can insert an edge here at minus 0.5. So you see it comes in between here. And now we can take this edge and uncrease that. And if we hide uh, the first body, you see we have a defined shape there, but it's uh, it's it's not super sharp, and it's not uh, and it's not uh, too too uh, weak either. Hey man, Patrick, thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much, and hi Michael again. Welcome back. So yeah. Um, I think this is actually a little bit too sharp, so let's jump back into this model, delete the middle, and let's see how that looks. Isn't that perfect? I think that's perfect, man. It's a sharp edge, it's a defined edge as we can see, uh, where is the image again? As we can see here, this is uh, uh, like a sharp defined edge. But it's not as, as violent uh, as it was before. Again, um, looking at the model, what we really should do is that... Um, so we have, right now, the sharpness is going a little bit too far up. So one way of doing that is to take this edge and we should be able to slide this edge. So I'm now... Okay, what's happening? Ah, uh, yes, this is the problem. Sometimes you have to hide the body, then you can jump back and you're not interfered with it. So I want to slide this edge. Um, why can't I do that? Maybe not right now. Um, yeah, so there's a few ways if we can do that. Um, I think there should be a tool where you can move it along edge. Mm. There used to be a tool for that, at least. Yeah, uh, Michael, you have to rewatch the Boba Fat helmets. That that was really cool. Um, so the 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 tricky part is now. If I only try to move this point, it's probably going to be somewhere in between them two points. So let's just try to do this manually, but with some finesse. So there we go, smooth. And we do the same with this point here. So I think that these lines are just too sharp, too, too much, too close to each other. So I'm going to drag this one out as well. I'm going to try to just get that correct in 3D space so that it's smooth. So I keep the flow. Now, when I do the model, you can see that it's it's less defined. Oh, the, the, but that's only a rendering angle. So you see here with the light, oh, that's beautiful. That is exactly what I wanted. So we have sharpness down here, but it then fades out into uh, nothing up here. Uh, we, did, we did not unbox the printer yet. We have too many requests of CAD modeling, so maybe we'll have to do that another day. Uh, but it's here on the side next to me. Um, okay, so... Um, Patrick. <laughs> um, 
let's see, Patrick, Patrick, um, you sure? The length, uh, how do you think about the length? So let's do something about the rear here. Um, I kind of have a plan on how I want to smoothen it, but I'm not sure exactly how to do it. So sometimes uh, this work that you do like a, um, a model like this. But it's, it's not always the best solution. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 delete. No, I have not. I think it's uh, it should be going well. Um, let's just flatten these parallel to this plane. Okay, I will leave you with a uh, forms model that is kind of workable, and everyone else for that matter. Um, but I think what we can do here is. Should be able to do something like this. I'm pretty sure that works. Pretty. Um, so if we flatten these ones, good. Now we want to use the tool called bridging. So we'll bridge this. We'll use one. So, and sometimes here, what I do is that I, I just create a surface like that, and the same here, and then I click on weld uh, weld edges instead. Sometimes I just think that's easier to uh, close down the shape. Now, um, as many of you know, triangles are not really good for uh, forms modeling. But in this case, we're going to try them out and see how they work. Ooh, let's just also make this flow a little bit better. It's always important with the flow. Um, and let's see how this rounds off. Yes, we got some issues. Let's go ahead and see what those issues were. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I think, uh, yes, <laughs> things are not welded here. That's probably an issue. <laughs> uh, so let's go and just weld those. And the nice thing here is that if you click on two edges when there's symmetry, it keeps the symmetry. So let's go ahead and uh, see now. Yeah, there we go. I think these edges could still be rounder, but uh, I'm going to leave you to, to play with that if you want to. And we are going to reverse the normal here. Yes, so it's correct. Um, yes, so what you can do here is that anyone who gets this project file, you can always go back to uh, the form here, double click and start to move around. Um, I kind of want to finish this shape a little bit. I want to... Sh um, yeah, I kind of want to uh, make it uh, semi-correct or at least make a, a surface that is simple to uh, start work working on. So we will use um, again our tools here to flatten um, this one here. Parallel plane ZX, there we go. Because that means that we should have um, it should be quite simple to do a um, something like this 
if I can get the thickness here. Thicken. Ooh, that's a black spike. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. I didn't save. I haven't saved yet. Ah! Okay, let's uh, click cancel. Let's click save. <laughs> um, Boaty Mac Boat, isn't that what it's called? So at least we have a save now. <laughs> um, yeah, if I do a loft like that, it would kind of work, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted to make a, um, or what happened if we just patch this? That kind of works too. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can always do a thickness inside here as well uh, sometimes that's easier because then we get control of it so let's do five millimeters whatever that is in real world numbers so you see we have some intersections here that's why we can't sh uh, thicken it in other tools um, so if we do that i then have to go into here and do some Edits. Um, yeah, the thickness is. I, I, I think you want to print it. Uh, if not, I'm doing the thickness anyway, so uh, people can print it, and also it's going to be easier to model everything from. Um, um, yeah, uh, when you want to add some details, let's go ahead and select that dot. We don't need those two. Um, to go down deep. Come on, work with me. There we go. So we don't have any weird shapes down here. And I mean, you can always just flatten these surfaces to make them easier to print. Um, so for, for example, if I take all of these, yeah, if I take like um, all of these surfaces here, And maybe, yeah, that's that's gonna be an issue. Um, ooh, how do we how do we even fix that? That means it's yeah. Hmm. Okay, first of all, this is not gonna work. Where are you guys going? So that's that surface, but there's no way for me to select that dot. How do I do that? I can select it there. So this is the inside of the boat, and um, we kind of have to, before we do anything, we kind of have to fix all of this. Otherwise, it's going to be errors, error, error, error. Um, There we go. And we can kind of scale them back a little bit. <laughs> no way, Jose. Um, okay, good. Now I want to flatten these surfaces here. <coughs> and that's, again, just to add, um, maybe not the two outer ones, to make it simpler for anyone who wants to like do things to 3D print on and stuff. So let's just go ahead and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Like those, we can do flatten, flatten those points and just a, a uh, something that fits. So let's go with that. This will then create a, um, it should be a fairly well um, smooth plane when, when we finish it off. Move it up a little bit to so make sure we have some clearance from the bottom. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. I see the issue. Remember I talked about fixing these things? <laughs> well, I didn't. Um, so if, if um, dimensions were critical, we would have issues with um, 
<clears throat> with with all of them. If we needed it to be like a 10 millimeter perfectly flat uh, or perfectly thick shell. Let's just go back a little bit. I think. Uh, where's the next one? Hmm. That's probably a problem too. To see, we have a problem with line flow, <laughs> but that's better. Let's see how does this line go. It goes crazy. So let's fix that too. It's uh, not what I do every day, but I do it uh, <laughs> as as much as possible. To see here, we also have some issues. This is probably going to be the whole side, so I'm not sure. We're gonna fix it all, but um, we can fix some of it. What are you doing over there? You should be here. It's better. <laughs> does it work now? It does. Ah, huh? look at that. I fixed it. So Michael, uh, my day job now is everything from doing this, which is product design, to doing videos, to doing uh, consulting, doing trainings, meetings, and all kind of things related to 3D. But I do do a lot in, um, in, in um, Fusion. And I do a lot that it's like, like this. So remember before when I flattened this surface, you can see it's not perfectly flat. It's still gonna be kind of tricky to 3D print. So one thing that you can do when you have um, flattened, like like uh, this area here, is that you can actually you should be able to crease it. There we go. So now, if we say, we now have a perfectly flat surface, which we can do everything from. Oh, we can sketch on it. Mm, it's almost perfectly flat. <laughs> but that's easier if you want to do 3D modeling and start building the shell and everything. But yeah, um, I think you want to have the unshelled model, so I'm going to back up a bit, or quite a lot. Um, because yeah, I, th I think that's going to be easier for, for you to work with, and of course you can always um, Flatten it up like so. And then, if you want to, <laughs> there's a lot of if you want to. Um, we can also do a sketch. We will project the outlines up here. Wait a minute. Did we project those? We are in the sketch, we want to project, there we go. If you project these lines here, yes, hide the body. Um, we can, of course, in this sketch, offset these to whatever we want, minus five, for example. And If, if you bear with me a little bit here, um, let's just create a uh, mirror line here later. Um, 
drawing in the wrong corner of the screen. Uh, but in theory, if if we mirror, ah, come on, don't do that. If we mirror this, like so. Why is that not a body? Ah, I forgot to mirror that one. One second, any second now. Mirror that too. Ta da! We have a surface. We can add our model again. Oh, before we do this, we want to stitch these two together. So we get a body. Finally. Now I want to take this uh, sketch and oh, of course that doesn't work. What was I thinking? Um, <laughs> never mind that. I thought I could uh, make make the uh, like a flat surface here, but of course if we want to do that, we should do a um, we should do it like this. We do an offset plane from that and we offset it down to let's go with uh, that point for example this point here in that corner good so what I want to do now is that if we create a sketch on that plane not a snake on a plane but a sketch on a plane haha <laughs> um, we should be able to intersect our body like so, or at least those planes, which means that we have um, this side here now. And the same goes um, if we do the same. Offset plane from that one up to this point, for example, just slightly below. Let's go with 13.5. And we create a new sketch on this one. And we will do what's called intersect with the model. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Now we have the sketches we need to um, create them all here. So my plan is to do an offset of this one, like minus five. Like so then we will take this sketch here. We'll also do an offset of minus five and they should align pretty well <laughs> rage in a plane but uh, we can always uh, let's cut down here do a little line take this one or just these two we shall mirror them on that line Ta -da. And what we can do now is that we can create a loft between these two towards this one. And if we do, that didn't work as planned. <laughs> it never does. Why did it not work as planned? Let's, let's loft um, Okay, we only loft that Okay, let's go with that. <laughs> so, if you're 
you're almost figuring out what we're doing. The plan here is to, of course, create a um, cutting uh, model. So something that we can use to cut a um, flat, perfectly flat surface on this um, this model. So let's go ahead and just uh, weld these. So we get a body. Ta-da! Body, body. We can also push this. We should be able to push this uh, like a few millimeters, but we couldn't. Of course. Because the problem here is that these two, you see, if I now uh, do like this, I take the body and I cut it with this one, it's good, but it's not perfect. So we have a flat surface, but we don't have uh, this one here. So I'm not sure if I even can delete that. Okay, I could delete that, but it's not, uh, no, 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 we can't have that. So one way of fixing that is to back up a step and then we split this body using that plane we will have a trash piece up there then we're ready so we take this and we cut with that and ta-da we have almost a perfectly surface <laughs> so what you could do here of course depending how flat you want everything to be uh, it's, it's fairly flat but it's it's quite possible that if we 3d print this as it is you might have a one or two layers it, it's kind of impossible to see what angle uh, this has but you could um, clean everything off here by doing um, yeah doing uh, this model thicker so let's go ahead can we actually do that can I um, push it this way like 0.5 millimeters yes I can let's go with one millimeter Okay, good, 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 good. That one with that one. So now you see we have a flat surface that we can kind of work from. Um, <laughs> that's not really what I wanted. Okay. I will just, uh, to avoid that kind of corner down there, we're just going to do it like this. That we're going to cut that body with this plane here. Remove this little lump. And now, if we do the last step, if we do the last step, two bodies, only one, we have a better surface. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> it's a spoiler. It's a boat spoiler. It's uh, it doesn't show up as perfectly symmetry here, which is weird. It should be, but if you're unsure, you can always split the model and and uh, mirror it off again and make the symmetry of it. Cool. So now you can do everything you want. You can do your holes in this model. You can make it a better shell for RC. You can put a motor somewhere around here. But best of all, you can always go back into the shape and um, kind of like redefine it how you want, want it to be. So if we want to have uh, less, uh, less hair, we can do that. It's going to update and uh, it looks uh, like it does. So there you go. It's, I mean, one thing you can always do is that we could have done this piece a little bit better. But hey, we can do chamfers here. We should, in theory, be able to press this back. Yes, we can. So we can get it to look a little bit better. Something like that. And uh, do a chamfer. Uh, I'm not sure why it's rounded like it is. I'm just going to leave that for anyone who wants to do it. <laughs> but hey, there, there we have a model. So let's go ahead and save that MacBook to MacBook. Hey man, you have it. it's uh, 
it's all about flow, about uh, the lines in the model and uh, knowing how the lines kind of work together. So let's go ahead and make a component of this boat. Booty my boats. And we're going to save this and upload it to the website as well, so you can download it. Uh, by the way, if you're looking at this in the future, I might have put those in a different space, but I will de redirect you. So, let's export the boat to my boat archive file, so you can do all of these uh, changes yourself. Let's also do it as a step file which I know can be a little bit troublesome sometimes. And last but not least, we shall do it as a uh, mesh file. But let's just preview this mesh, because Fusion has been uh, quite weird late, uh, lately with all the triangles and stuff. I kind of want to print this now, Patrick. Um, no, I, the step file is for everyone that doesn't use Fusion and wants to have a CAD file that they can do something with, like uh, uh, drill holes and stuff. So if you're an inventor, uh, you can take the step file and you can use it as, as a body, so you can extrude through it and do all like that. Uh, but the forms file, uh, you have to open the Fusion archive file, otherwise you can't change that. Boat to make boat, coming up. Uh, there we go. Zipping it. There we go. Go into the website. Yeah, I'm thinking that the step is, is mainly for anyone else watching the stream. Uh, by the way, there's a lot of people watching. Uh, make sure you like this video, make sure you share it. And if you want anything 3D modeled, for example, to give away as a Christmas present or uh, yeah, just another present, make sure you put in a request, make sure you tweet me whatever you want, maybe some reference images, and uh, I'll, I'll be 3D modeling it. And when I'm saying that, I'm losing viewers. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, okay, so let's upload that to the website. Let's see, do we have anyone who wants something? Yeah, we have... Uh, okay, no, no, not yet. Um, mm, mm, mm. Where did that file go? Oh, this is the one. So, we go to upload. Which uh, changes don't you like on um, Fusion 360 Imagination to Form? Is there anything in particular? Uploading the file. Editing the page. The, the, yeah, the UI is a bit tricky, but uh, I'm kind of growing um, uh, growing into it. There's some buttons that I will never kind of find, and that's, for example, the 3D print button. Uh, it's under tools. Before it was like over here, so it's always easier to find. But I'm guessing that with more and more professional users that might not 3D print everything, it kind of makes sense as it's, it's a tool. Um, let's go ahead, post that URL, let's go with that, save, update, whoa, whoa, whoa Michael, wow, thank you so much, that's very generous of you, um, thank you. Um, I'm not sure that, um, let's see the files here, yes, there we go, there you have the both the Mac both files, thank you, 
can see that um, this this um, the goal here doesn't update, and I'm not sure if I can change that. Um, it would be nice to have that update when uh, people like Michael are very kind and uh, helping out. Let's see if I can just fix that quickly. <laughs> Man, you're fast. <laughs> um, I can't do anything about that, anyways. Um, ooh, that sounds cool. Sorry, uh, it's probably gonna be more more uh, than the thirty minutes I have uh, per model. <laughs> Um, anyone else have some ideas of things to 3D model? Uh, we did a rim before, I think that, that actually looks very nice. Open RC Euro truck, hmm, that's nice. And we have the helmet here as well. Oh, sorry. I think I hit the the cable. Tesla, yes, Teslas. <laughs> oh, there's so much things I want to model, but I don't I don't have time. Uh, maybe we should do this like a weekly thing after uh, after the holidays and try to make sure that I, I sit down here once a week and I actually continue on one of the projects and we can do it together. You can give me ideas. I can show you tools. Um, maybe we can uh, get that up again. That would be fun to have. <laughs> okay, so let's let's do the Tesla truck. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do it. So we need a nice image from the side. Just something to get a re <laughs> reference from. I mean... Um... That's a pretty dope image. So, how do we start? Yes, we start by taking a canvas, a cyber truck. You're on the wrong way. Flip, flip around. Okay. I think we should do this as a challenge. So I have an, uh, I have a. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be fun. So, um, to create this model, hmm, wait, I need to think. How many, okay, so we're gonna do this as, like we're gonna do the rough model, not, not like the perfect one, uh, but the, the rough shape. So how many uh, steps do you think I need? How many tools do you think I need to use to create this as a CAD model? So take your guesses in the chat now. Um, like, do you think it's like five extrusions or like five maneuvers or is it 20 or is it two <laughs> or is it like, you know, um, 25 and it's like, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not even going to use forms mode, Patrick. Uh, you don't need this. Uh, that's 20. We have five good guesses. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to tweet out that I'm doing a cyber truck here. It could be fun. <laughs> Make your guesses on how many you think I need.
<laughs> hey, Michael, nice to see you here. Yeah, uh, worth, you have a good point. Uh, Patrick is on eight. Okay, uh, imagination to form, will you, um, when I say that I've completed a tool, will you please uh, count that if, if you have the time? It would be really nice if someone could uh, keep a counter on, on the tool. Um, so uh, just to clarify, inside a sketch, a sketch is one, one operation. Even though I do a lot of lines in a sketch, I would still count that as one. So are you still uh, guessing 20, Patrick? <laughs> Too many Michaels. <laughs> I still need some more guesses. Uh, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be, I mean, how much detail can you actually do? But uh, the basic shape, um, let's, uh, we can count wheels, but uh, may maybe not. No, no, hmm. no, let's don't, yeah, I'm not sure. Eight sketches with extrusions. Okay, okay, I like that. Five sketches. Okay, cool. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Ah, good. We are not counting wheels. <laughs> you ran out of the room. Um, okay, so let's start it. Let's start, let's start. Uh, we should have one more reference, by the way. Can we get a front reference? That would be nice. Is, is there even an image from the front of the Tesla? Um, I need to have that one. I need, I need the front here. Front. That, that's that's not that's a little bit more difficult to do that truck um, <laughs> I love these versions of it mm. hey castle um yeah. Okay, I don't I don't think you have a better one. Um okay, okay, okay. Let's um we have this one of course. We can always use that. Hmm. Okay, okay, cool. So we start with one sketch. We are going to the, what, what would you call it, Senate, Senate points. <laughs> Feels so stupidly easy. Who, these wheelhouses, I mean, seriously. Mm hmm so far so good the suspense is real guys wow <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we are coming up to, I mean, what's the width of this thing? It's kind of wide, right? 
go with something uh, reasonable. So we have two steps, I suppose. We have a sketch and extrude. Now I kind of want to do this. I need to... Um... Now this is the tricky part here. This is the tricky part. Because on one side we have... Hmm. I'm thinking which is going to do um, least amount of steps, but uh, okay, I think I need to do this anyways, which is a, a bit shame because it costs me steps. Uh, wait a second. Uh, that one. Okay, so that's another step. And that's another step. Okay, that's true. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um, this doesn't count as a step, but it's it's almost almost a step. I just want to have a reference uh, shape somewhat inside here. Um, mm, mm, mm. let's go with that, even though it's not perfect, I kind of want to have it, uh, give me one second here, just want to have something to look a bit, uh, a little on. So the question is... Uh, and I think we are on three, unfortunately, but we're still in... I'm just going to switch that around. We are on this sketch, and I need to have... I need to have that line projected, or that point. I need this one. I kind of need that dot. Uh, no, Anton, what are you doing? Wait, is this correct? Um, struggling. <laughs> Yes, it should be like that. It's good, 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 good. Okay, okay. We're doing progress. Ah, uh, you found a better one? Ah, it's a nice one. It's it's very wide angle, so all the perspective uh, goes away. Um, but it, it kind of confirms what I thought. It's a flat surface. <laughs> uh, thanks. But we will have to... So it should be more like this, I think. And of course, we need to do a mirror plane. I'm going to take all of this. And we are going to mirror it uh, along that line. Now comes the tricky, tricky part. I bet all of you thought that I was just going to do this. Which, I mean, looks kind of cool, but it's not correct. It is not correct. So, yes, we... Oh, wait a minute, I did the rear. 
Did I do the rear or the front? I did rear. <laughs> I'm already completely lost on uh, what side I'm doing stuff on. Uh, maybe that's the trick. Okay, then we want to do a sketch on the front here. And we want to do projections here as well. I want to project uh, that spot. And uh, to be honest, we want to have that dot. And probably that line and that line. So in this case, we are going to, wait a second, wait a second, we need to project one more line, to do this correct now shoot uh, yes I did yes good that is correct Whew, things are getting uh, tricky here this one goes to that one and that one goes to no wait a minute Those two has to meet. Wait a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, of course. No, that's the same. Whew. And we mirror. Mirror, mirror, mirror. And now that's that's done. So that's the second squitch. Squitch. That that's a better one. Um, yeah, that that really is a better one. I'm kind of locked to my angles now. I'm gonna keep my angles for now, and we can always change them later if you want to do that. Uh, <laughs> Yes, correct. But uh, so the plan now is um, instead of doing like the extrude that I did, we will do a loft. Loft between those two and loft between three and four. That did not work out as planned. <laughs> Oops. Um, you see now all the lines flow, so you can already see it in the cuts that the lines all look better. Not perfect, but better. So we're going to... I'm doing this thing again where I'm extruding on both sides of the model. <laughs> Stupid me. Um, so let's go ahead and change that from being symmetrical to one side. 45. Nope. 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 We are keeping everything. And we are... Uh, <laughs> we're doing this step again. Or redoing it. We cut. We repeat. And we do the sketch. The boom. The boom. There we go. Hey, it's starting to look cool. So, um, but yeah, um, it's kind of obvious now. Why does these look rounded? That should not be rounded. Let's back up. Let's make sure that why are those rounded? Uh, 
there should be nothing rounded here. Everything should be perfectly... That should be a flat, flat angle. Hmm, this is weird. I mean, I am doing a loft, but it should still be flat, I think. We can do it like this, so let's back up. Um, I don't know why I'm focusing on all these details, but if we back up a bit, we can always do single line lofts. I think that's going to be easier in this case. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and hide everything that's annoying. Of course, we need to show bodies. I mean, this is the plan. I just want to have completely flat surfaces. So that's three tools. We can't accept that. Um, does it do any rounding here? I don't want you to do that. But that, that's probably good. Um, okay, good, 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 good. Because then we don't need to use those steps. We only need to mirror this one. The body. Good, good, good. And then we should be able to split this one. Eh. I'm doing too many steps, guys. <laughs> that's that's the issue when you actually want to do well as well. All right, uh, let's jump back a step. So let's add some thickness. Create the thickness on um, those guys. Do it outward. Very good. And then when we do the mirror. It's not with that object, it's with that object. Because then we can do this step. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But basically this is the, the basic shape. We still have a little issue with this one here. For some reason that is rounded, right? That, that shouldn't be possible. You see here, that's not supposed to be round. I think we have to maybe, uh, from this loft here, okay, if we were doing this correctly, I would not loft them, but I would create a surface like this. So I would do, um, I would hide uh, that body. I would do something like this where I patch, um, There should be a way of, of doing like this one to this one. But okay, okay, I guess. Yeah, I guess we are rounding here. We are creating a, a tangent surface between these ones. Instead of a polygon. If we created a polygon, it would be better. <laughs> but okay, let's, let's uh, continue anyways. So what else? <laughs> we don't need to do much more. Um, we need to do something about the fronts. <laughs> hmm. 
Cybertruck 1.5. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I mean, to be honest, we have the outer shape. How much more do you want? Whiskers. <laughs> I mean, we should probably be do the, the th trunk. No, the trunk. No, that's all, all, also done. In theory, we should add uh, a chamfer here as well. And probably be here too. Maybe even here. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. We'll do the wheel or, uh, arches. I mean, to be honest, I think we don't need that surface. It's supposed to be more like that. Um, it really look that in the front? It really does look like that in the front. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, yeah, I, to be honest, if I did this in a Polygon 3D modeling software like uh, 3D Studio Max or something, it would be so much easier to actually do it in CAD. In CAD you have to... Uh, I can't just move the, the polygons around. Uh, I have to do them in... Um, with that said, I could do this in, in box form. I should have done it in box form. Well, well. So let's do a sketch on that plane. Let us offset, not chain, please. Hmm. Um, Michael, I'm not sure. I hope. Um, I hope so. Um, I haven't decided anything yet, but I don't really leave close. And um, yeah, I kind of need to figure that out. If some company wants to have me in their booth and and they help me. I'll pay for that trip, the travel costs, maybe, uh, but currently I can't really motivate uh, going there, even though it's super awesome to meet you all. Um, it's it's not really, it, it's quite expensive for me to go there. So we'll, we'll have to see about that. Hey, where did my sketch go? So the plan now here is to offset. Where's my sketch going? Ah, it's hidden. <laughs> um, so if we do an offset, don't tell me I have to have to do that. So I first have to extrude these and create a new body. Uh, this is not good for the, the, the tool count. Like so. And then
that does not work. Okay, so one way of doing this, which is again with the tool count, <laughs> we're not having a good day. Um, we would do something like this. And then we would have to loft like so. And then, oh, these are so many steps. I don't like this. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, there we go. Then we can cap that end, accept, repeat, cap that end, accept. And now we can stitch those three, and ta da, we have a body. <laughs> yeah, now it's kind of running away. Uh, you can see here on the on the small tools down here. Uh, can you see that on the screen? Yeah, it's really tiny to see. But uh, all of these surface commands they take a lot of um, a lot of steps. But I still think it's uh, it's pretty cool. So it's kind of worth doing. Um, maybe somebody wants to do a RC model of this. Just saying. There we go. Stitch them together. Oops. Invert. No, 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 no. Invert. Good. We cap that hole. Cap that. Put a cap in that. There we go, two bodies, yay, <laughs> so I guess we kind of have to mirror those as well, so that's another step, yeah, okay, we did it in too many steps, but it kind of was done, but people want to have details, so then, then things are going to take time, so we can of course combine all of these, Combination, yes, join. Well, this looks a little bit weird, but we can, can we push that down? Eh. We can extrude it down. Let's just leave it. So, okay, to be honest to the designers at Tesla, it, it did take a little bit of time figuring out the details, but the, the main shape I think they decided kind of quickly that we like this shape, so we're going to keep it, and then you work in the details. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Yeah, true. It, it kind of was done. So let's get the window in here as well. Another sketch. Another sketch bites the dust. And uh, if, if we look at this one here, it would be the same as the Boba Fett uh, we did here with this kind of design, but we're not gonna bother with that right now. We're just gonna do it. And if you should be cur no, maybe it's not, but it should be, should probably be parallel with that uh, top window. Need to fill the space between, the yes, you are correct. We can do something about that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but we will, uh, first of all, we will split phase one and phase two using this sketch, which I can't see right now. There we go. Bada boom, bada bing. And in theory, can we offset one of these? Can I offset this one? <laughs> uh, 
Flint. It's it's a hover hover uh, Tesla. Hey, this would look really cool as a hovercraft. <laughs> well, man. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, okay, let's see what we what can we do. What can we do with this? I uh, need to create a thickness on these ones. Hello, thickness. Where are you? Thicken. Uh, minus two, maybe. Perfect. And then we delete the out surface. We flip them around. Ta da. We take this one. And we stitch. Stitcheroo, stitcheroo. Come on. Stitch. Don't hack. Don't lag. Thank you. Yeah, I, I I must have seen that because I I feel like that's the that's the next step that we kind of have to do. Um, so let's see if we were to add some wheels. Like so. Uh, we should probably save. <laughs> Tesla Truckeroo. <laughs> so uh, the idea was here that, I mean, if we just put some wheels out here somewhere, it should be thicker. But uh, if we do like that, it would be kind of cool To do like the hovercraft, so you can fold them, and it would be jet engines, <laughs> so it can it, it becomes like a, a quadcopter. Now that's an idea for uh, for someone, Peter Streetwell, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's not turn the wheel around. Make wheel wheel thicker. Wheel. Wait, even better. Why did I not think of this? Uh, just give me one second here. I will. Uh... I mean, we already did a wheel today. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the Halo version as well. <laughs> it's, really, it's so fun. People are having some fun with this. Uh, where's the scale one? There we go. Entities. Come on, why cannot I scale this one? Uh, I need to unbreak the link. Because if I unbreak the link, I can then probably scale it. doesn't look right <laughs> does not look right I know uh, it's still a little bit too big so let's scale it down even more scale 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 modify scale point I don't have a center okay doesn't matter maybe point eight <laughs> 
<laughs> it kind of needs a tire on it. <laughs> oh, it's not good. It's not good at all. Let's go ahead and make a tire quickly. Because why not? Isn't that what we do on this channel? Postpone things. Yeah, I don't mind that it's too big. <laughs> uh, maybe we can... Can we do something about that? Uh, scale. Why is there no... better it's better Michael thank you so much for uh, for staying here supporting the stream and the donations um, have a really great Christmas and a new year and I hope to catch you in a stream soon again <laughs> Merry Christmas everyone else too Yeah, I think I think we might go a little bit overboard. Um, <laughs> maybe. Things are getting really weird here. What the f What? This is not good. Okay. 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 Um, let's let's uh, be happy with that. <laughs> okay, we need we need stainless. Maybe polished satin, satin, and we need that on the rims too. And then we need uh, rubber, hard rubber. Yes. Very good. And then we need a uh, scene. How about the Dry Lake Iceland? <laughs> no, not five steps. Uh, I apologize. I got carried away. There we have it. It looks like a Tesla truck with Volvo rims. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> we might need a front window but uh, yeah let's not worry about that if we want we can of course do something about the inside here but uh, I don't think you learn um, do, do you learn anything about what I'm doing right now <laughs> some spinners yeah man that would be cool uh, <laughs> I think we might be done with the Tesla truck for now. And uh, yeah, the question is, is there anything else you want me to model? Otherwise, um, I think we, we are almost four hours into the stream. So um, yeah, maybe that's enough. <laughs> it could be enough for today. Maybe. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, yeah, maybe I'll save, I'll, I'll save this 3D printer for an unboxing another day, I think. Or do anyone else have something that they want me to, um, um, to create? Speak up now.
No, Michael. Uh, uh, there's even um, some great tutorials on um, Autodesk Fusion 360 videos uh, or their YouTube channel right now, where they have like a, I think it's a 10 series uh, conversion into in, from AutoCAD to Fusion 360. So like all the vital differences, how how you should think in those cases. But uh, one thing that it, I don't think you have. You don't have free forms like these uh, T splines uh, forms in um, AutoCAD, do you? And also, uh, now when I'm thinking about it, one of the things I should do, uh, like if we go back here, so I think that to create better surfaces, nah, it doesn't matter anyways. Who does it? No, it doesn't, never mind. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna end the stream now and uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the, the donations and the super chats. It really helps. It helps a struggling uh, worker man who <laughs> is running his own business. Um, yeah, um, yeah uh, Michael, I'm, I'm kind of... I do agree, but it's also like we end up with this here. Like this is a rounded surface, and I don't think it should be. I think that should, it's supposed to be a perfectly flat surface. Um, but you're right; it, it is. This surface could be explained by two triangles, but I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's a tricky one actually. It's not that simple as it looks. Uh, but again, let's talk about that in next stream. <laughs> Thank you so much for streaming. Um, or watching the stream and I'll see you guys another time I'll be in the chat for another minute or so but uh, let's turn over to um, to the intro video so see you guys again thanks so much for watching bye